Hi all, this is Mr. P coming at you with uh, some uh, fitness gram push-ups tutorial today for my second graders. Um, this fitness gram push-ups tutorial is basically very focused on doing push-ups uh, to a counter the fitness gram way with fitness gram technique. That means that you, even if you can do push-ups in different ways, uh, like amazing no-handed, no-feet push-ups or two-finger push-ups or whatever you can do. We are looking for basic fitness gram push-ups. So I'm going to uh, demonstrate those. Um, I'm going to demonstrate common mistakes that are made in the test and I'm going to demonstrate how a spotter can help you through uh, to get this uh, done correctly. So um, <clears throat> let's get started right away. First things first, um, a fitness gram push-up. When we uh, set up for our fitness gram push-up, we have to make sure that we get our hands set correctly. So, um, we have to make sure that our hands are not too wide or too close together. Um, that means we're going to grab opposite elbows, place them on the ground, and then I'm going to replace my right hand with where my right elbow was and my left hand with where my left elbow was. That is hip or shoulder width distance apart. Um, I'm not supposed to move my hands once I set them there. All right, they're supposed to be preset there. So um, once that's done, step two is making sure that my shoulders stay over top of my wrist. So I'm just going to reset here from the side so you can see. Now I have to keep my shoulders over my wrist. I'm in a tabletop position. I want to stay in this tabletop position until it's time to start my test. And you'll hear the counter when Mr. P starts it later. Um, so after I get set here, um, then I have to make sure that I'm in a correct full push-up position. So that means I'll step my feet back, my feet stay together. All right, They're not supposed to go apart because that makes a push-up easier the further your legs go apart. So the feet are actually supposed to be together or just a little bit apart. Toes tucked under. I know it's hard to see Mr. P right now. Um, and from right here, I just have to make sure a few things follow protocol. My shoulders have to stay over top of my wrist. They cannot come back here, all right? Notice how that moved my bottom up. Um, they shouldn't come too far forward. That could hurt my wrists. And my bottom is not supposed to go, go too high at all. Um, or my belly and my hips are not supposed to sag low. And last but not least, I'm not supposed to stick my bottom out. All right, the way that we can um, fight this or combat this and actually give ourselves really strong core control um, and learn a little bit more about our body and how it works is to actually uh, do our turtle shell. All right now, maybe some of you guys remember the turtle shell. It's been a little while since we went over it, but let's get some turtle power going. If you remember that from our elbow planks, I'm just going to pull my ribs. Everybody show me your ribs really quickly. My ribs, those bony protrusions right here that come around back, I'm going to move them up toward the ceiling, and at the same time, I'm going to move my, my hips down toward the ground. And so I'm going to not have as much of a curve in my spine. So see, if you look right now, I have a, a curve in my spine. I have an S curve in my spine to some degree. I want to take that away for these push-ups to uh, demonstrate core control by lifting my ribs up and pulling my hips down just a little bit. I'm over-exaggerating it right now, but if you can hold this position, it gives you more core control. A lot of people lack that, and it can actually uh, support you as you go into more difficult and stronger movements later on in life. Um, so, anyway, this is the position I want to hold, and from here, with my hands shoulder width distance apart, I'm going to try to go down to a 90 degree bend in my elbow. I know it's a 90 degree bend by a few things, all right? One. I have my shoulders level to my elbow. My shoulder is like a flat surface. Let's see if I can do this, all right? So if uh, you had a cup of water, all right, you could put that right on my arm and it would be a flat surface and it should be able to hold it there. Not actually, we're pretending like it's a flat surface. So um, if it's right here, that's not low enough. Right here isn't low enough. It has to get down to here. An easy way I like to gauge it is I like to find something, I don't know, something about fist size. So 
right here. I have my wife's little thing of Vaseline, but you can probably find anything that's about this size, uh, about the size of a fist. All right, put it down right where your chest is going to be going to be headed toward the ground. And as soon as your chest touches that, you should be good to go. All right. So <clears throat> that's the first part because remember your belly and your hips are not supposed to touch the ground. Um, so we've gone over that. Let's just make sure for our technique, we have to have our turtle shell. We have to stay in full push-up position. If we drop down to our knees at all while doing the push-ups, that's fine for practice, but for the actual fitness gram test, which you can take as many times as you want to, for the actual test, you are not allowed to drop down to your knees. Once you drop down to your knees, the test is over. All right, so partial push-ups are great for training to get into uh, better full push-ups, but we are just practicing, or, or I'm sorry, when we're actually doing the test, we have to be in full position. That means knees are lifted off of the ground. Um, also, we'll get into a spotter in a little bit. Um, we'll, we'll talk about the common mistakes more in a second. Um, you can turn your highest score in by the end of the week, so I have created a Google form. And on that, I would just like you to put all that regular, you know, information about yourself, your name, your classroom teacher, your email, and then just basically enter in your highest score and then set a goal for yourself for next school year. Um, because the whole deal of this is, you know, there's a thing called a healthy fitness zone. And right now in second grade, you know, uh, the, the, um, a, a lot of major pediatric doctors and developmental doctors have agreed that, you know, uh, the students do not have to be able to do push-ups at this age. But by the time you get to 13, 14, 15, 16, middle school, that's when they'll expect you to be able to perform some. Um, it, it, is, it, it is nice to be able to do these push-ups now because it's going to help your development as you get older. So these are something that I would, at your age, I would try to be able to do three full push-ups. If you can do three full push-ups at your age, you're doing a great job, and I'd say you're in the healthy fitness zone for your age group. And if you're not there, that's completely cool. Don't worry about it. You just have to work up to it, or it's something that you should set a goal for in the future because push-ups are a very basic movement, all right? They're a foundational movement that you can build up to and do different things with your body and life, but you should you should have these strong foundations in life, all right? So um, we are going to turn in your high score by the end of the week. Um, even if that's Sunday evening, um, you know, but I want those high scores turned in and am I missing anything else? We can talk about technique now. Practice that hand placement one more time. Show your uh, spotter, your parents, whoever's around how to set your hands for a push up for a fitness gram push up. Make sure that you place those elbows down, replace your right hand with your, where your right elbow was and your left hand where your left elbow was. And then when you get into that position, Stay there until you hear the counter. This is what the counter sounds like. All right, go ahead and we're going to start for push-ups now. Get ready. And that's when you want to come up to your push-up position. Hold your turtle shell. So that means ribs up, bottom down some. Hold that position. Make sure your shoulders stay over your wrist. And then you start. And it just basically goes down, up, one, down, up, two. Mr. P will do it with you and we'll see how many we can get. I'm going to let the counter go up to about 50 today, <laughs> or maybe we'll, we'll let it go to 70. We'll see how many Mr. P can get, um, but I would be so proud of you if you just got three or more. Okay, I don't want to waste any more time, so let's find the common mistakes that Mr. P makes. You guys tell Mr. P what his mistakes are, all right? I'll, let, I'll pause for a second, and I'll expect you to pause and call them out, and then I'll let you know. All right, first thing first. All right, everybody, it's time to start the fitness grand push-up test. Ready? Set, and down, up, one, down, up, two, down, up, three. All right, that's enough. You should be able to see it. What was Mr. P's mistake there? That's right, my hands were too wide. I had to replace my hands with where my elbow were. Magarena, all right, that was the first one. Let's do the next one. Um, all right. All right, everybody, it's time for the fitness gram push-ups test. Ready, set, and, well, set this. <laughs> Space limitations. Down, up, one, down, up, two, down, up, three. I'll just do a few more for you if you can't see it. Down, 
up four, down, up five. If you can't tell, my chest was not going low enough. All right, so that is that one. That was number, or that was another common mistake. You have to go low enough. So make sure those elbows go to 90 degrees, all right? Elbows should be level with shoulder as you go down. Um, <clears throat> or just touch your hand to your, your spotter's fist, or your, your chest to your spotter's fist. Okay, uh, next, here's another common mistake. Ready, set, and down, up, one, down, up, two. That's right, Mr. B's bottom's too high. How about this one? Down, up, one, down, up, two. What's my mistake there? That's right. My belly and my hips are touching the ground. They're not allowed to touch the ground at all. All right? If you make any of the mistakes, of these mistakes, two times in a row, your test is over. You shouldn't even be making them one time. If you do that multiple times, all right, your test is over. So don't let those knees, your hips, your belly touch the ground at all. Only that chest is allowed to touch the ground. All right, here's the last one. It's the most difficult one. So I want you guys to check this out and tell Mr. P what I'm doing wrong. Ready? We're going to do the fitness gram push-up test now. Set and down, up, one, down, up, two, down, up, three, down, up, four, down, up, five, down, up, six, down, up, seven, down, up, eight, down, up, Nine, down, up, ten. How many push-ups did I actually get there? I counted to ten, but I only really got up to three because I slowed down so much and was not able to keep up with the counter that my score was not um, as full as I wanted it to be. So you have to make sure that you stick with that counter and you're not allowed to go too fast either. That doesn't count. All right, so <clears throat> this is a muscular endurance and strength exercise. All right, I think that's basically it. Mr. P is just going to turn on this fitness gram counter now. Uh, I want you to do this uh, with me as many times as you need to, but you want to stick with that counter. You want to stick with that cadence. Again, I'm probably going to let this go up to 60 or 70. If you can get up to 40, 50, 60 push-ups, that is ridiculously awesome. I mean, that you're a beast, all right? But make sure that you're doing them correctly. Oh, and the last thing, a spotter. Oh, man, let me get that spotter. Hold on. Okay, so if you are a parent or a sibling or whoever is staying with a quarantine home and they are helping to spot during push-ups, you want to make sure you just do a few things and do them correctly or else you could very much skew uh, this exercise. Uh, so you want to make sure that obviously the kids are setting up correctly. So I'm just going to use this teddy bear to demonstrate. All right, my daughter's teddy. So first things first, you know, they have to do the elbow thing where they, their right hand goes to that spot, spot so their shoulder width distance apart. All right, from here, uh, uh, when the counter begins to, or gets ready to start, that's when you tell them to lift up onto their toes. And from right here, their shoulders have to stay over top of their wrists. And from right here, I would take one hand and I would kneel next to them. All right, and I would basically put one hand underneath of their ribs. Um, just to lift their ribs up because a lot of kids do not have that rib pelvic control and this is something that we do want to teach them. This is a great fundamental thing that if you can teach them this, it'll be awesome. And the other thing is I want um, to gently just press on their lower back usually to pull their, their hips down some. All right, so not on their bottom, but their, their lower back just to gently press down on their hips. This will get that nice um, core alignment where they're actually going to be able to engage those muscles that will help facilitate a lot of other movement as they get older. Now, from here, all right, they don't have to look up or anything. Just that should keep a nice neutral straight neck. And when they go down, just make sure that you when you press down, all right, you actually press down on the shoulders. And this is why you hold their ribs, too, because if you don't have anything here, they might hit their face. So when you press down, press down you know, gently between their shoulders and try to get them into that 90 degrees where their elbow is matching their shoulder, all right, and then back up. So another spotter could be here, all right, or you could just make sure they go low enough, but they have to be able to almost just touch their chest to the ground, basically, and come back up. That's a correct fitness gram push-up. So one hand on the ribs, kneeling next to them, one hand on the lower back, and then the upper back later on to help facilitate them going down and back up, 
right, without them hitting their face or anything. Okay, so <clears throat> thank you, Mr. Bear. Now it's time to do our fitness gram push-ups. Let's get this party started, all right? I'm just going to upload that next video. All right, guys, it's time for the push-up test. As I said, you can do as many of these push-ups as you'd like to, uh, or and do this test as many times as you'd like to, but I would like you to turn in your highest, um, honest, true, good score at the end. Um, and just do your best of it, and know that we can continue. If you want to get better at something, what do you have to do? Practice. You have to practice. That's it, you know? And don't beat yourself up too much, all right? Um, and parents, it's always good to spot and help a little bit, you know? Just bringing them through the range of motion can actually be a great thing for them. So I'm just going to set this up. And Mr. P has his little spotter right here. I'm going to try to get up to 50. We'll see how we do. And I'll keep that counter going a little bit longer. Maybe we have some uh, hawks out there who can get super high score. All right. When you hear this counter start, that's when you're supposed to start. So start to get your elbows set and then your hands. And then get into a high plank push-up position. Set and... We'll now begin the push-up section. Ready? Begin. Ooh, Mr. P's a little down. Bit high. Up. Catch up. One. Down. Up. Two. Down. Up. Three. All right, I'm down. Up. up. Four. Down. Up. Five. Together. Down. Up. Six. Down. Up. Seven. Down. Up. Eight. Down. Up. Nine. Down. Up. Ten. Down. Up. Eleven. Down. Up. Twelve. Down, up, 13, down, up, 14, down, up, 15, down, up, 16, down, up, 17, down, up, 18, down, up, 19, down, up, 20, down, up, 21, down, up, 22, down, up, 23, down, up, 24, down, up, 25, down, up, 26, down, up, 27, down, up, 28, down, up, 29, down, up, 30, down, up, 31, down, up, 32, down, up, 33, down, up, 34, Ooh. down, up, 35, down, up, 36, down, up, 37, down, up, 38, down, up, 39, so down, up, 40, down, up, 41, down, up, 42, down, up, 43, down, up, 44, down, up, 45, down, up, 46, down, up, 47, down, up, 48, down, up, 49, down, up, 50, down, up, 51, down, up, 52, down, up, 53 you're down. Going, you're ridiculous. Up 54 down. Up 55 down. Up 56 down. Up 57 right. down. I'll be your up, cheerleader. 58 down. Go you. Up Get 59 it. down. Up 60, 60. down. Okay. Keep it up. up. 61 Lewis. down. Up like 62 music. down. Up 63 Beautiful down. Song. Up, 64, down, like up, 65, down, awesome. up, 66, <sighs> down, up, 67, down, up, 68, 68 down, up, Ooh. 69, down, I'll stretch it out now. up, 70, like down, my arms, my triceps. up, 71, down, <sighs> up, 72, down, Ow. Up seventy three down. Up, He's got to get some more exercise. Up seventy four down. Up seventy five down. Up seventy six down. Up seventy seven down. 
feel it up in this 78 area. down and my ribs. up 79 oh. down up 80 down <laughs> up 81 down 